this Friday looking white across parts of northern and western Minnesota. This is from Grand Rapids. Uh, meteorologist Bob Consemius there picking up a few inches of snow. Some places though picking up quite a bit here over the last 24 to 36 hours. This is his specific measurement three inches in Grand Rapids uh, and uh, yeah some places up to six to eight inches of snow in a few places. Most of the totals west of the metro were generally light. Here's another view thanks to my friend Dylan from Crookston sending this in can still see the grass, but uh, definitely wider than anything we saw in the metro area. And this is really where the snow totals laid out, even into northwestern Iowa, western Minnesota, and then through northern Minnesota. But the Iron Range is where we saw some of the higher totals, some of those yellow spots. That's that uh, six to eight inch range. But we'll take a look at some of the totals west of the Twin Cities. About an inch around St. Cloud, one to two inches around the Wilmer areas. And again, nothing really accumulating in the metro area. We saw snow showers mixing with the, the rain showers here overnight, but uh, not nothing substantial as far as that goes. But yeah, again, a couple of six inch amounts here up along the Iron Range uh, near Chisholm and uh, Hibbing, five, six inches of some fresh snow there. Already melting though. Ground is still very warm. And the center of that low is sitting pretty much right on top of the UP of Michigan right now. And the system is gonna start to move backwards, retrograding, if you follow me enough, you, you know that I talk about that term occasionally. So it moved up into Lake Superior about towards Thunder Bay and now it's moving back south. Uh, so it's still gonna be windy today as that low pressure center is nearby, bit tight pressure grading. But tomorrow, as that low moves further and further east, winds should lighten up under 10 miles an hour. So it's not gonna be warm tomorrow, but at least we won't have the wind to add to it. And this is showing the upper level flow and a water vapor loop from satellite. And you can kind of see similar thing moving up and then it's gonna kind of dive south and then finally move out of here. So uh, earlier in the week, we talked about how this system would become cut off and that's why it would move slow. So that's why this surface pressure is kind of making a loop over Minnesota and Wisconsin. So it's a slow exit all because of that upper level pattern where the low is literally cut off or closed off. And that means that the upper level steering winds are going around it. So there's not a big push for it just yet. But finally, that's gonna to start to move here over the weekend. Uh, and with it, that big bundle of energy, a less potent system, but this one's gonna be bigger snow producer for us as a wave of energy comes in in the middle of the atmosphere here tomorrow night. So a clipper type system is gonna bring us our best chances of accumulating snow here in the Metro and for areas that already saw snow, more there too. So it's gonna cut right across Minnesota tomorrow evening into the overnight hours, and then it'll be gone by the early morning hours Sunday already. So some scattered snow showers, light rain showers even today. It's just on the edge here in the metro to see uh, either or, occasionally one or the other. But here's four o'clock tomorrow, we see the snow start, but by 3 a.m. it's already done. So it's gonna be a quick burst of snow, and coming in at night, gives it all the best chances of accumulations. Uh, it's harder to get snow to accumulate this early in the season during the daylight hours, but a swath of snow here. This is the European model. I think this is the best fit of what's gonna happen. And all the models pretty much doing this, heaviest totals to the north across central Minnesota. Even the northern suburbs could see a little more than the southern suburbs. So about an inch or two in the metro, enough to definitely coat the grass white when you wake up tomorrow morning. And here's six different models all showing a pretty similar picture. Again, those heavier swaths just to the north. Uh, but a couple of models, the uh, Canadian model is a little further south of that heavier snow, giving maybe some of the northern suburbs three, four inches of snow. So it's not out of the question uh, to see some of those higher mounts, especially again in the North Metro. But 39 today, chilly these next few days. We're talking 30s only for highs tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday. So the snow's not gonna rapidly melt, but look at by Tuesday. Uh, jump up rapidly, 50 degrees, I think. So it will be gone, this snow. And then uh, still in the 40s Wednesday, which is actually above normal, believe it or not. And then it does look as though we cool off again late next week, but no more snow in sight after Saturday night. Hey everyone, meteorologist Sven Sungard here. Please be sure to like this video, also subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this with others.